Tom Brady's last pass as a Patriot was great for Logan Ryan. Touchdown Titans, Logan oh. Ryan! Oh. The former Patriot who'd won two Super Bowls with Brady helped lead Tennessee to the AFC Championship game. Logan, Logan, I'm so proud of you. Listen, welcome home, man. First of all, Logan's a very smart player. He's going right to the easy read. Like, we can bait him and get that. A very versatile player. You know, a strong, like, rap tackler. He could really play any of the five defensive back positions. Oh, that's it, Logan. Nice job, buddy. That's it, Logan. Wait, anyway, Logan. Now he's in his second season with the Giants. I'm still having fun every day, bro. I'm grateful, bro. We get to do the greatest job in the world. Living in New Jersey. I'm beating you. Where he met his wife, Ashley, back in college. We met at Rutgers. I was a corner. She was a shortstop. She started right away as a true freshman, was a stud, and I was sitting third string left bench. Lift your feet up. Show them how you balance. She took a chance on me. I wasn't any good right away. I was looking like a bus for a little bit. Ten years later, here we are. No family spends all its time in confetti. The Ryans have navigated highs and lows. We had Avery at a time, you know, second year in the NFL. Made me grow up, made us have a family. And then we had Wild Man Otto in Tennessee. Finish line. Good job. His name's Otto Dash, and he lives up to the Dash. They're like what you dream of when you think of like a wild three-year-old and a smart, inquisitive, wild six-year-old. You having fun? We won. We won. You wanna go back and see Mama? So tell me about the name, Ozzy. I'm a person who, like, I love names. When my friends have babies, when people I know have babies, I love, like, finding out the name. I think it's so cool that you get to, you know, give a kid this for their whole life and take so much thought. And Ozzy was a name, like, I heard, and it stuck with me, and I was like, if we ever did have another baby, you know, it's written in the notes in my phone. I think all girls do that, by the way. It would be Ozzy. Like, that would be the name. Last November, the one in six Giants lost to Logan's former quarterback on Monday night. Ashley was away from the family in Florida with her sister when the pain started. I laid down in bed after the game late at night and it started hitting me. It didn't feel like normal stomach pain. I'm there well after 1230 getting treatment and I'm calling her on my way to the parking lot and she's like, my stomach has been killing me. I was like, you know what, let me call the trainer because I just saw him. So I called Justin. He kept talking about, you know, kind of below the navel pain, stabbing, um, you know, worst pain she's ever had in her life. He was just like, hey, man, she should go to, like, the ER. And I'm like, nah, it's like 1 in the morning. Like, you know, let her, can she just sleep on it? And he's like, you know, women got a lot more going on down there than men. Um, it could be trickier. I, I, would, I would send her to the ER. Logan, you know, I'd feel more comfortable if she went to the emergency room. This sounds like something that needs to be addressed right away. So Justin Mayer really pushing it was really the only reason why she went. I because I one. wasn't as convinced. He had to convince me to convince her to go. I went to an urgent care first. Once the blood work comes back, the doctor came back in and he said, OK, um, you're pregnant. And I had to make that phone call to him. He was like, well, we got Ozzy. And he went to sleep, you know, thinking, wow, we're pregnant, we're going to have a baby. We have this baby that we're both excited about and we're a team. I sat there for a little while, I'm like, but wait, I've been pregnant and I've never felt this before. And the doctor said, here's the situation. And he was like, you are pregnant. And he was like, but the pregnancy is ectopic. I don't know what that means. And he says, what that means is that the pregnancy is implanted in your fallopian tube and it's not viable. He's like, I don't want to scare you, but the situations can go downhill quickly. You need to go to surgery as fast as we can get you there. My sister told the news to Logan. Ashley like lost the baby in a topic pregnancy, and she's on the way to the hospital. Her fallopian tube's about to burst. Like we don't know if she's gonna make it. I'm like, like what? Like what? Like, hold up! I thought we were pregnant. Her fallopian tube ended up rupturing on her way to the surgery. Then they caught it right after it broke. So 
that would have happened um, anywhere. And she was really in an ambulance when that happened. I remember that they gave me morphine and it didn't touch the pain. I understand why they're telling me this is an emergency because I feel like I'm going to die. I mean, it was just miraculous for her to survive that night. You can do a flip. Can I see your flip? Yeah. So I called Joe, Judge, and I told him, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to play next week, and I don't know uh, what, what the COVID protocols are. He's like, Logan, 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 like, go be with your wife. You, you gotta prioritize what this is. And, you know, she comes first, family comes first. Everyone's healing process is different. I love you. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. For Ashley, watching her husband play football. I see you in a little bit, okay? Was exactly what she needed that week to help deal with the trauma. She told me, she was like, I'm good here in Florida. Just go play. I was like, I'm gonna bring a football home for you. And she's like, no, bring two footballs home. One for me and one for Ozzy. So I was on a mission. I'm gonna bring two footballs home. I spray painted my cleats white and I wrote in a marker, Ash on one cleat and Ozzy on the other cleat. It was a beautiful day in Washington. First play of the game, I hustle to the sideline and I hit the guy and the ball pops out. Ball is loose on the ground. It's like a folly to get the fumble. And it's a scramble for it. And Jabril Preppers ends up bringing out the ball. Logan Ryan forced the fumble. So I'm like, all right, one down. <laughs> like, their quarterback gets hurt and Alex Smith comes in the game and he brings them back. And I'm like, Alex Smith, man, you're a great guy and this is a great day for you too. We get to two minute at the end of the game. They need a touchdown. Alex Smith has the ball. It's a movie. Smith has time, pumps over the middle, intercepted! Picked off by Logan Ryan! And he slides down to seal the deal! And I ran to the camera. And I rocked it like a baby. And I said, this is for you, and I love you. I felt like his love and all of that, and it just felt like we're gonna be okay. My college softball teammate got these made for us when I think a post I made had the name included in it, and this like showed up at our doorstep, one for each of us, and we've literally worn them every day since, since she sent them. You know, I don't think a lot of people do name a child of that situation. It's not, you know, happy news. And sometimes I think you can feel like you're at fault. Like, what did I do to cause this? Why did this happen this way? I was supposed to have this baby and I didn't. You're gonna take on the blame from that even if you shouldn't. I have a trainer named Justin who just saved my wife's life. And I have a head coach who didn't convince me at all to stay and that's the reason why I'm here because he didn't care about football. Good job, Logan. Hey, Thanks for bringing me in. And there are people that are doing things bigger than football around here, and that means a lot to me. I love my wife and my kids. They can sing the same thing at the song. You heard it, guys. It's time to sing. Let's all sing the praises of Justin Marr, a Monday night hero, and a reminder that there are real giants all around us. We're just doing our job. I'm just happy to be in the position to help somebody.